Okay, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if we can make this one come up a treat. Come on, Conniger. Don't be a fucking asshole. Okay. This one's going to be a bit lighter. Alright, contrast. I'm going to lessen the contrast for this one. Let's see how we go with this. I've got to enlarge it too. It's going to be a fairly small one. It is. I think it's cut out of a, um, a council uh, thing. Just trying to see. We're using this. This is just a picture of a silent, what they call a silent disco. I hadn't heard of silent discos until late last year. I didn't know what the fuck they were. Apparently, the, what they are is that you have you have people. If you look at the picture. Now I'm just going to play with the buttons. If you look at the picture, you can see people with these glowing things. These are headphones, like wireless headphones. And these wireless headphones uh, are connected to, you know, hooked up wirelessly to the music, to the DJ. So instead of playing music through speakers, everyone gets a set of headphones and it's played through the headphones, which is an interesting concept I'd never heard of until recently and I, th I thought I didn't know what they meant by a silent disco but I found out that that's what it is and it's it's a good idea it's there's not much really good in this world that's really useful everything's about the love of money and serving the money gods but I think a silent disco even if the silent disco might might have been motivated by money it's not a bad idea in principle it's actually quite a good idea. It's a good way of having a disco in a party without disturbing the peace. I know it might be a bit difficult. Well, most of the time music's too loud to talk over anyway. So, But having headphones, you, you, you can't really talk to each other. But as I said, the music in a normal disco is usually too loud to talk anyway. So that anyway, that's not big enough. But basically, it's an interesting concept. And I actually like the idea... Of, of being able to have a disco without disturbing the peace around you, like in, it's good in, it'd be good in the neighbourhood, you know, to keep people to keep the peace. So you can have a nice uh, party, a nice disco, without waking up the neighbours around you. So it's a good idea, I think. I'm just wondering if maybe the contrast is a bit too low. I wonder if it would just stay better with, with the contrast. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna lessen the contrast. Actually, and it's an interesting concept, and I think it's one one of the few things that has come out of the 2010s or the late 2010s. Let's see how we go with this. We're still a bit too small on the uh, on the vertical, so we're going to make it a bit bigger. But it's an interesting concept. I really am amazed that something good has come out of this period, in this dark period, where people just are so, have become so depraved, worshiping money and treating money like it's some kind of deity, which is really sad. Uh, so much could be achieved in this world if we just focused on our talents and our our abilities and basically made them and the things that we love most. Like, I believe I could design one day a better photocopier. Now, that's a little bit too small still. So I could design a better photocopier, one that's a lot it's got a lot more smarts than the shit that we have here in front of us. So something that actually 
works better than the shit that we have now and that it'll last longer than this sort of stuff that it'll last like 60 years instead of five years so we so mankind has got to come to its senses and stop worshipping money because money does the love of money does not achieve much for mankind it actually destroys it's a destructive force most people don't seem to realize just how destructive the love of money can really be uh, a lot of people see it but they haven't got any ability or any power to stop it and most people just look on in horror as our environment um, gets damaged and people get have their lives ruined by all sorts of people that don't care about other people and, and the planet like corporations and that shit uh, it's just really sad that we can't celebrate like what these people are doing and even then you want to wonder how happy are these people in the silent disco if maybe they're suffering in silence uh, they're trying to forget about the uh, the grind of every day and they're trying to run away from it for a couple of hours at a dance party in this case a silent disco so you just don't know what's going through their heads as people and as individuals uh, let's see how this goes but sometimes you've got to develop coping mechanisms to survive yeah so sometimes it's uh, all you can do is just while your time away at a disco in this case a silent disco so let's see if we can make this look good it's not easy lining these up so yeah there we have it a relatively recent concept a silent disco